We're uh, watching some program about addictions, sorry. I'm addicted to eating cat hair. Furry mouth? Oh, stop licking your cat. Sometimes they do get stuck in your teeth, but you can just get them out with flossing and brushing. Of course. 15 years ago, Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. Just give it a cuddle, like. She's not hurting the cat, like, the cat just has been taking advantage of. I, you know, I feel sorry for, the, not her, I feel sorry for the cat. <laughs> it's just, there's like 40 bald cats just <laughs> running around the house. <laughs> Wow, that's extreme. Yeah. Yeah. It'll take me a second to digest what just happened. If you have an animal that sheds, you're going to eat a bit of cat hair, but not like on purpose. I'm addicted to taxidermy. Here we go. I, I can't watch this. I actually can't watch this. She found a dead mouse and couldn't resist the urge to cut it open. I know, I know that feeling. Imagine meeting her in the night out though and coming back to her place. And you're like, well, oh, can I just stop? Why is there 700 dead animals around? The first step is making the incision down the abdomen. And that's the part where I always hold my breath, like literally, because you never know what. Uh, oh, they're dead. She finds them dead. Gosh, they're dead. They're only a vessel. So she's, in a way, she's creating a tribute to each animal she finds. Are they all shit faced and taxidermy? <laughs> Where's my grandma? I'll taxiderm her. That's where I've got my bird. I love that. Love that. She stores. Tupperware. Dead. She stores it next to the food. Get a second fridge. Yeah. That's, you need a, another fridge. You don't want that confusion. Uh, yeah, you know, taxidermy is a thing, but maybe do it uh, professionally. I imagine her making love, right, to some man, and on one side she's making love to him like this, right? Yeah. And on the other side she's stroking a dead turtle. I'm addicted to pulling hair out of shower drains. <laughs> it has to be slimy. Oh! Uh, it has to be slimy. It cleans the shower. What's the problem? Do you not get satisfaction when you find it? Like... No. Long brown hair is probably my favorite. Ugh. Oh, he's got types. Women would love this guy. I could do with him around my flat, definitely. It is satisfying though when you get it out. It's... Yeah, but he goes actively and do you actively go into people's houses. <laughs> I have this anxiety. And then I get the hair, and then like, bam. Normally it's the other way around. It's like, oh shit, I have to clean the drain, I have to clean the drain. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to get him help? How do you wean someone off pulling hair? Just take a little bit out today, John. Definitely the creepiest. But it's just a, it's just an anxiety thing. It's, I mean, as long as he keeps it safe and just does like small drains, he'll be all safe right. Safe drain. If, yeah. you, if he has safe sex, yeah. and safe drains. <laughs> I'm addicted to eating drywall. Oh God. Oh my god. Now this one has to be very dangerous. It started innocently with a bite of chalk. Oh, <laughs> innocently. I mean, she's she's hitting the electrics there. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> your drywall, your meat and two veg, <laughs> glass of milk. It's definitely connected to her, the loss of her mother. And that's kind of sad. Ah, she's a lady. I feel sorry for her family. Literally eating them out of house and home. <laughs> I don't, couldn't be bothered with a deep, like thinking about, oh, where did this house start? Because uh, at the end of the day, she's just eating the wall. I mean, but I just wonder how she started. It's, it's the it's the poor walls that suffer, though. At the end of the day, yeah. it's like you're addicted to cigarettes. You could be told a million times there what all the the risks, but you'd still smoke. It's freak television, isn't it? It's like modern freak show. Point and laugh at something different. Because it makes me feel better about my own crazy life. I'm like, well, no matter how bad things get, you're not eating cat hair. I would love that as I wouldn't feel better about myself because I'd be like at any time at any moment you could meet someone that eats walls. Ryan, I never thought about it like that. Exactly. That makes me feel. Um, it's okay. I've ruined, I that. I've ruined Anne's life now. <laughs>